Yo, what is up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get potato graphics, but with a new setting, which fixes all the buggy glitches potato graphics has, such as the see-through grounds and the buggy terrain and mountains. This new config is going to make the game actually playable and fix everything, such as the see-through grounds or any other bugs. So let's begin with the tutorial. So to get these graphics, we're going to need to go on our browser and search up NVIDIA Profile Inspector. Once you guys searched it up, you're going to want to click the first link right here, GitHub. And once you're on this page, you're going to want to click the NVIDIA Profile Inspector.zip file right here. As you guys can see right here, I've just downloaded the zip file. Alright, now I'm on my downloads, I'm going to drag the file onto our desktop. Now we can minimize this right here, and this file right here, we're going to want to right click it, Click Extract All, then Extract. Then boom, we have a file right here, which is the file we've just extracted. Then we need to double click on this new folder. Then right here, we'll see the NVIDIA Profile Inspector.exe, and we want to open it. Then a command prompt will open up. You guys don't see it, but on your screen, it'll pop up. All you want to do is click Yes. And as you guys can see right here, we have NVIDIA Profile Inspector opened up on our PC. To change your Fortnite config, go to the top left corner where it says Profiles and type in Fortnite. And make sure you select it from the drop down. You'll know if it's been selected when it shows that green bar. From there, you can scroll down to where it says anti aliasing, and you want to select this setting called Transparency Super Sampling and change it to AA Mode Replay Mode All. And hit that. Next, scroll down to where it says Texture Filtering and find the Driver Controlled LOD Bias. Set that to off. And just below that, you'll find two other settings called LOD Bias where you can input a value. For this config, paste in these numbers I have on screen. 0x, followed by 6 zeros, and then 25. I'll have it in the description below, so you can literally just copy and paste it right there, so you don't mess up with any of the zeros. Just below that setting, you'll find the negative LOD bias, and you want to change that to clamp. The final setting to change is the texture filtering quality settings. By default, it is on quality, but you want to change that to high quality. And that is it for the config. Don't forget to apply the changes at the top right corner. Next, we got to change some settings in the Epic Games Launcher. Now, there's something in the Epic Games Launcher you guys must make sure is enabled. So, open up your Epic Games Launcher, go to Library, and go to Fortnite. Select the three dots right here and go to Options. Just like so, make sure you have DX12 shaders installed. Reason being, I'll tell you later in this video. So make sure you have this installed. Just click on apply, and even if you don't have it installed, it should install in less than 5 minutes. Alright guys, our Fortnite is now loaded. There are some settings you guys must apply, so let's go over here on your profile, and go over here on your settings. The first setting we need to apply is DX12. This is why I told you guys to download DX12 shaders, because if you didn't, you wouldn't have this option right here, so make sure it is not set to Performance Mode or DX11. Go ahead and set it to DX12. The next setting you guys must make sure you apply is Turn On Nanite Virtualized Geometry. This will smoothen out the ground and fix any bugs. Once these steps are complete, your game should look less buggy and feel much smoother. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you in any way, please consider liking the video and subscribing, and comment down below what video I should make next.